first, I guess, just how much were you guys sweating in our, at large bid, just to start off? Um, I kind of thought that we had done enough work throughout the course of the year that we had a really good chance and had put ourselves in a good situation, but uh, just getting knocked out that second round, it definitely was stressful few days, and so just really happy to get that at-large bid. At this point, you, know, you at least have a clean slate. Looks like you play Monroe and then have the opportunity to play Seward next. Uh, I know you kind of mentioned that. I don't know if you know too much just yet about Monroe. That is who you're playing, right? Right. Uh, uh, I mean, Monroe uh, College out of New York. Um, they're 26-3. and three. Um, Just a his history of a really good program. They're usually in the national tournament. Um, I've, all, I've always heard about them, so a lot of respect for, for their program and what they do. Um, hopefully, that we, we, we're, we're continuing to grow as a team, and um, maybe the loss in the regional tournament um, will help us be better, and you know we'll realize we have to play for 40 minutes, because I thought we played as well as anyone in the country maybe that last quarter, but unfortunately we had dug ourselves into too big of a hole um, by being passive. Um, I, I thought a little bit we were maybe playing not to lose as opposed to attacking and trying to go win. So um, we had a really aggressive practice this morning, and the girls, um, they have a lot of pop in their step, so it was good to see. I think you would kind of mentioned it, but, I mean, now that you do kind of have a clean slate, I mean, you, you feel like you're kind of just able to refocus and, hey, we got we got a second chance. We're in the national tournament. That's, that's all we were asking for from the beginning. Absolutely. You know, um, it's March Madness at any level, and, um, this is this is a big deal for our girls. It's uh, we we talk about going to Lubbock for for all year long. You know, it's 28 miles down the road, and you know that's where we. This is what the position that we wanted to put ourselves in, and so um, I think anything can happen. We're we're very optimistic. We know that um, you know at this point in the season everybody's a threat, and you know everybody can play. But um, I, I feel like the girls are very confident in in what they do and what we do. Just to be able to play right down the road, I mean, how, how advantageous do you feel like that is for you guys? I, th I think it's huge. Um, we, I, I believe our first game is going to be at noon, so we may not have um, too big of a home court advantage, but hopefully if we can win a game, maybe we can draw some fans from Lubbock, maybe steal a few Texas Tech fans and just some basketball lovers out here come out and support us. It would be great. Coach, what's the preparation like during the next week? Obviously, you want to have fresh legs, but you do have to get them ready. How do you go about preparing your team? Um, I, this week, I just want us to be very, very competitive um, and just really work on us the first couple of days. And then once we get a little bit more prepared for what Monroe does, start um, you know defending their actions and um, going over their personnel. But definitely the first few days is just about us. What does it mean in just your second year here to get to a national tournament it is in Lubbock, you being a former uh, Lady Red Raider. What does that mean to you personally? Um, you know, this is about this is about the girls. Um, you know, this is this is their year. I've had my time. It's gone and done. But um, you know, my whole life I grew up wanting to go to Lubbock to play basketball. You know, I wanted to go play for the Lady Raiders. That was my end goal. And um, you know, since I've got to South Plains uh, for two years, we've talked about going to Lubbock. So 28 miles down the road, it's it's a really big deal. But um, like I said, this is all about the girls. Yes, ma'am. What does it? What does this group of girls mean to you? Them being your, you know, first quote unquote class. Um, you know, you, you've been here two years. You've done so much with them. What do those girls mean to you personally? Oh, they're the best girls on the planet. They they work so hard. Um, from from day one, um, they've came in and they've they've bought into what. Um, what we're about. They've kind of embraced the crazy. Um, we have three goals. We want to we want to win at a high level. Um, we obviously want them to graduate and we want them to get Division One scholarships and we have a little day-to-day -day process that we believe in that works and um, you know they've, they've really they've really bought in. They, they get shots up on their own. They do skill work. They watch film. Um, they sacrifice because they they they, they want to win. They want to get those Division One scholarships and Hopefully, we're just checking a few things off the list. I know they're going to graduate in May, but um, just tremendous people. Fun to be around every day. Yes, ma'am. Okay, anything else in Thanks, here? Thanks, Coach. Appreciate it. Thank you, Coach.